Hey, welcome back to WCR on YouTube. I'm Jordy from the Window Cleanse here on YouTube. I'm also a sales rep for WCR. My number is 862-312-2633. Today we are talking about water-fed extras and why you should think about them during the winter time. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So here you can see I have these bins that I bought at Home Depot and they all have water-fed extras in them organized and I keep them in this crate that's a it's a rigid crate also from Home Depot I've got some 3 8 hose here extra some filter wrenches and a couple of things I don't use a soap filter from Unger um, never used it but I had every intention of it and uh, bronze wool pad and some extra extra white scrub pads for the uh, alpha scrubber. So you might think that the winter time is not a time to think about water fed. It's a time to pack up the water fed and pack up your thoughts in regards to water fed when in fact the opposite is actually the case. You want to think about assembling your your kit, your system during the winter time. A, because you might get a good deal since it's slower. Uh, B, you might be in a part of the country where you don't have a winter, per se. And C, you want to be prepared for the springtime. You don't want to be scrambling during the springtime to get set up. And, and it's going to take you a little bit to get used to your system. So here are some of the things that I think you should give attention to as you, as you acquire extras. You don't want to be on a job and be without what you need. You just don't want that. I was just reading a, a post where a guy had a broken angle adapter and he had, this is the only one he had, uh, and it was broken and he had a job the next day that he needed it for. So just extras guys, just extras. <laughs> if you spend $100 on these extras, it will save you money because you won't have downtime as much. I mean, there's nothing l more there's nothing more, there's nothing le there's nothing less cost effective than downtime. You're not working, so you're not making money. So have the extras. So the first thing you should have, since we're talking about angle adapters, is an extra angle adapter. Okay? This is just your standard zero angle adapter with euro threads on both sides. Goosenecks are a type of angle adapter. You have a six inch, you have a nine inch, and they even make a 12 inch. This is great when you're doing solar panels. It helps push the pole away from the house so that it's not hitting the gutters. It also helps when you're working above 50 feet, 50 feet and above, because the, the pole will bend and sometimes it will hit the building. So you wanna push the pole away from the building. And these are what help you to do that. And they just, um, they just screw into the back of your brush. So have, have a couple, have different sizes. When you need them, you need them. There is, there is no other way and you're gonna, you're gonna spend a lot of time, and I'm speaking from experience, you're gonna waste a lot of time trying to do the job without the right tool and the results are not gonna be very good. The next thing that is just an absolute must are these quick connects push quick connects. You have them in T's, you have them in a Y formation, and then you just have them straight. This is the one that you're going to use the most. <laughs> this is the one that you're going to use the most. So have at least like four, five of those. These um, are about even. You won't use them as much, but they're good to have on hand, especially for a different brush, brush configurations. And while we're talking about it, the way you use these, to, to install the hose, you just push it in until you can't push in anymore, right? If you just pull it out, you're going to ruin the little metal ring that's in there that holds the hose in. And that's why a lot of these are breaking is because people are just pulling them out. So to pull the hose out, number one, you kind of don't want the water to be running through it because it increases the pressure. but the first thing you do is you push the hose in and then you push the ring in and then you just pull out like that. It's that easy. 
Extra clamps are another thing that are good to have on hand. Uh, they get a lot of wear and tear, especially clamps numbers one through four. Those are the ones that are under the most amount of pressure and, and stress. The bottom clamps, you may, they're gonna last longer. But have clamps one through four. These are phantom clamps. These are one of the best clamps on the market. The zero clamps are just as good. So it's good to have some extras so that uh, in the, the event that something breaks on them, you'll have you'll have what you need to keep doing the job extra pull tips I want you to, to notice uh, a very distinct difference here if you look at this right here this is what's called the anti-spin and this is just the regular facelift this is for the older style zero poles for the uh, ultimate and for the pros pro poles that have the blue label this is the one you want to use for the newer style poles, zero poles that came out this year, and the trad poles, you want to use this. And there's actually a table on this product page at the bottom to help you choose which one to have. Sometimes you might want extra jets. You might want extra jets. So these are extra jets. Uh, you might want to turn your two do your two jet brush into a four jet. You can just hammer these in and make yourself a four jet brush, which is really good on hydrophobic glass. These are extra clamps for your univalve. Good to have these on hand. Um, good to have an extra univalve or two on hand. These are very important too. These are fittings. There's there's uh, three types of fittings here. And as you can see, they break. So, they break. This is good because it has an on-off valve on it uh, for your DI tanks and for your Zero Pure. You can turn them off when you're storing it and laying it down and the water's not gonna leak out. This is a female to female fitting. Very useful, when you're, especially for your DI tanks, you want this. So you can put this, this Unger Outlet Quick Connect on your DI system or on your Zero Pure, and then you plug in this cone adapter that adapts it down to 5 16 And going along with that, you're gonna need uh, these little adapters, which are also from Unger. You know, you need this to plug into this, basically. It's good to have little ball valves like this. This is one type of ball valve. They also come in a push to connect setting, fitting, configuration. If you could pull up to a job, if you go to a job and you're planning on running two poles off your DI tank, but you don't want one pole running, running for part of the time, then you can shut off that line using this. What's nice about this stuff is it's not very expensive. You know, you can think about acquiring this over the winter time um, so that you'll be ready come spring. And you can see here that I have that set up where this would plug into the outlet of my DI tank and then I would run another line, my regular line here and then the extra line here and when the other second person is ready to use it, you just turn it on and it's ready to go. And finally, you really don't want to be without, and also you don't, you don't want to be without some sort of adhesive like a JB Weld and they also make this uh, special tape that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's where it helps seal uh, water lines. So if by chance your zero hose springs a leak, a pinhole leak, you can wrap that tape around it and it will seal it and you can finish the job instead of having to shut everything down, go to the store and get it. I believe that every water-fed system is not complete unless you have these items a univalve a bronze wool kit an alpha scrubber a rinse bar and a swivel and a boar's hair you should have as many tools at your disposal so that you can attack any type of application that comes your way so the boar's hair gives you more scrubbing power there's a little bit more drag on it the rinse bar allows you to rinse more evenly on hydrophobic glass. The alpha scrubber gives you some added scrubbing power with the rinse bar. I have it installed on the back of my brush, but you can simply take it off, 
You can attach it to an angle adapter. Like this. And you can put this on the end of your pole. You know, you can put that at the end of your pole and use it like that. I like having it on the back of the, the brush. I think it does a little bit better job than a bronze wool pad. These pads will last you about one house. One pad will last you about one house, at, you know, small to moderate size house. Uh, but when you buy the Alpha Scrubber, you get 10 of these extra. And they're $79. Something else, if you're gonna buy a Zero Pure, you absolutely need a reel with 3 8 holes. This increases flow to the brush. It'll be the first line from the Zero Pure. You can adapt down at the pole and you can plug your pole hose right into it. One other thing that I do with my pole setups I have a univalve in here, and once you install the univalve, it doesn't come out. You're gonna have to cut the hose to take it out because that just sits right in there. And so what I do is I, whatever the length of pole is, I have about five feet extra. So this is a 30 foot pole. So I have about four, 35 feet of hose so that when it's fully extended, I'll still have a little bit of hose sticking out. I use one of these push fittings, put it on the end of this hose, and then I attach it to the hose that's coming from the reel or the purification system. And when I'm done with the job, I can just pop it up, pop it out, I can roll up the hose and store my pole. I'm not constantly pulling my hose in and out. Um, and it just allows me to have versatility on the job. So if you would like to get more information about any of this stuff, give me a call, 862-312-2633. I'm Jordy, I'm a rep for WCR. Get yourself stocked up, get yourself ready for the spring so that you can get going and make some money. If you're interested in some of the systems and the poles that we have, we have some great options right now on the store. Uh, my kits are the Get In The Game kit featuring Luke the Window Cleaner's Timberwolf. We have the Old Baby Residential kits featuring the Zero Pure and the Oval Poles, which I love. And then the Commercial Gold features the, the Ultra High Modulus Zero Gold Pole with either the X2 or the Tucker 4060, which are awesome systems. So this has been another video for Window Cleaning Resource. I'm Jory from The Window Cleanse. Until next time, I wish you a good day in your business. We'll talk soon.